This is Hugger Bear. Hugger Bear wanted to come on the show and say hi today. It's all about pumpkins today. So stick around. We're going to get our first book ready. Mm -hmm. Here we See go. In a minute. One, two, three, four. Our first book today is called It's Pumpkin Time by Zoe Hall, illustrated by Shari Halpern. It's almost Halloween, and can you guess what we do to get ready? We plant a jack-o'-lantern patch. First I take the soil with the shovel, and my brother uses the spade to dig narrow rows, just one inch deep. Then we drop in the pumpkin seeds and cover them with soil. Oh, and Doug is helping too. We want them to water them and wait for the sun to warm them. Before long, the seeds grow from tiny roots into small green shoots. They're growing big already. The shoots grow into vines and the vines grow longer and longer. What color are the vines? Green. Every week we water them and pull up lots of weeds and look after the vines. At first, the pumpkins are green and tiny. But they grow bigger. And bigger and bigger. Soon it is fall and our great big pumpkins change color from green to yellow. To orange. Now they are ready to be picked. We have never grown such big pumpkins before. What a big pumpkin! Mom and Dad help us cut the pumpkins from the vines, and we gather them in a wheelbarrow and take them home. It's almost Halloween. We draw faces on our pumpkins and mom and dad help us to cut them, hollow them out and light candles inside. A jack-o'-lantern. Now they are jack-o'-lanterns and we are ready for Halloween. The end. Down by the day.
Did you ever see a spider riding a tiger? No. Down by the bay, down by the bay. out of your library or even have it for your home library. Peter's looking for a pumpkin, a perfect plumply dumply pumpkin. Not a lumpy bumpy pumpkin, not a stumpy grumpy pumpkin, but a sunny sumptuous pumpkin. Finally on a twining vine he spies a pumpkin fat and fine. Not too fat though, not at all, not too short and not too tall. Not some squat lopsided pumpkin, but a glossy lot of pumpkin. That is some pumpkin. Why does Peter want a pumpkin? A showy, glowy pumpkin. I wonder why he wants one. Is he going to make pumpkin pickles or pumpkin pie? Pumpkin pudding or pumpkin fry? Pumpkin salad or pumpkin stew? What is Peter going to do? With his pumpkin home at last, Peter starts in working fast. Draws some eyes and draws a chin, then draws a plumply dumply grin. Helps his dad carve into place a simply dimply dumply face. What a nice face. Lights a light behind the grin to start it glowing from within. Later wins the most applause and really no surprise at all. Because perfect pumpkins really do make perfect jack-o'-lanterns too. What lovely jack-o'-lanterns. Wow. Okay, everybody, pretend to be pumpkins, big and round. Ready? Are you ready, Mr. Mike? I'm ready. We are pumpkins, big and round, big and round, big and round. We are pumpkins, big and round, sitting on the ground. See our great big shining eyes, shining eyes, shining eyes. See our great big shining eyes, looking all around. See our great big laughing mouths, laughing mouths, laughing mouths. See our great big laughing mouths, smiling right at you. See us rolling round and round, round and round, round and round. See us rolling round and round, rolling on the ground. Let's make some popcorn. Froggy's really excited about the idea. <laughs> Let's start it. Everybody, warm up the pan, everybody. One, two, one, two, three, four. You put the oil in the pot. Then get hot. You put the popcorn. 